All right, Mr. Skeleton, are you ready, sir? Hey, everyone. It is another week Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. We are entering the late, mid to late, late mid. I don't know what it is, but basically the end of July. It's coming up. Here we go, over the railroad tracks. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. Um, but the next month or so, I feel like is gonna be the most exciting. So starting any time now until the rest of the season, we're gonna be seeing all of the stores putting Halloween out, which gets me the most excited. I hope you're excited. Um, so today we are cruising per usual. We're doing some Halloween decor hunting and we are driving all over town today. We're going to at home. Well, first I'm going to the post office, you know, the drill, the usual dropping off some HO7S packages. And then we're going to cruise over to at home. And then we're going to go to home goods again, because they're really one of the few places putting stuff out. Then we're going to drive all the way out to this TJ Maxx. We're going to see if they have anything out. And then I think we're also going to hit Tuesday morning out there. We're going to check in on target dollar tree. Oh, I just missed that yellow light. My bad. Uh, and then maybe another home goods in there. I don't know, but it depends on what we see today and how freaking hot it gets. Cause it's supposed to be like a hundred and I think they said like 101. It just is what it is. So we're going to the post office right now, right? Mr. Skeleton, he's going to be sweating today. His bones are going to be sweating. It's going to be so hot. Um, but I need to drive out to my mom's area because we're doing her hair today. And then uh, so while I was out there, I figured before we go do her hair, we could go check out some of the stores over by her. We're driving all over town. We're going to go see what everyone has. I'm so excited. I'm hoping we see some stuff. So anyways, I'm here at, uh, the post office. Before I go into the post office, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video. So today's video is sponsored by Briogeo. If you haven't heard of Briogeo before, it's a clean, natural hair care brand for all different hair types and textures. It has a wide variety of products to choose from for every type of hair concern, from frizz control to dandruff to scalp treatment. Also, Briogeo has responsibly sourced packaging and products, but I was so excited because I'd heard all about their don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and I'm kind of a deep conditioner nerd if you've been around here for a while you know that I dye my hair all sorts of different colors so to keep it this long and strong and healthy and shiny deep conditioners are definitely a major staple in my hair care routine but even if you don't use hair color or bleach I feel like in the summer months back before I even used hair color my hair was definitely dry and brittle in the summer getting beat down by by the sun and, and if you go to the pool I feel like our hair really takes a beating in the summer but also I was really interested in trying Briogeo because I've been wanting to introduce cleaner products into my routine especially deep conditioning masks because I've been using some deep conditioning masks in the past that didn't have the best ingredients so I finally got to try out the don't despair repair deep conditioning mask and I love it it's a weekly treatment it helps strengthen damaged hair and it helps prevent future damage and it's clinically proven to decrease hair breakage after just two uses so I was all excited to try it and let me tell you I feel like it's soft it's shiny it feels nice and strong it just feels really good so I'm all excited about it anyways Briogeo has a wide range of products with clinically proven results and you can take their hair quiz to find out which products best suit your hair needs and Briogeo is offering you 15% off by following my link. I'll have it down in the description box for you. But if you follow my link and use code Jade, you'll get 15% off and clean hair care that actually works. I'm gonna run into the post office really quick and I'll be right back, right, Mr. Skeleton? <clears throat> here we go with Flummy the Flamingo today. We have a heat advisory and, and an air quality alert today. So it's just gonna be a whole Flemmy the Flamingo situation today. Anyways, we're pulling up to at home and not a soul is here. There's like three cars in the parking lot. I feel like maybe this is a good day to go out because Tuesdays are usually pretty good days at Home Goods and TJ Maxx, which we're going to TJ Maxx today. And on top of that, it's gonna be so hot. I don't know that a soul is wanting to get out in this. We're gonna brave it today. We'll probably end up taking the longest nap ever when we get home. But, all right, we're here at 
at home. We're going in to see if they have any more Halloween for us. We're taking off this hat because I'm not holding on to it for dear life in this wind. We're just going to make it work. Look like Mr. Skeleton right now. Twins. All right, we're going into at home. Here we go. We're parked. We're going in. All right, here we are at at home. All right, Mr. Skeleton just left at home. They are preparing the Halloweenage. They they didn't have a whole lot of new stuff out, but they were at least like they had all the aisles completely empty and ready to go. So I'm thinking if we go back on Friday, we can go in and it'll be close to stocked. If not, then I'll be really confused. I'm thinking they're wanting to be fully stocked by August for sure, but I'm hoping it's sooner because they were wheeling out huge carts of stuff and I didn't want to get in their way because they were also stocking the shelves, putting all the stuff together, figuring out like the layout and all that stuff. So in the witchy section, they had a little potion bottle thing that had a little bat topper on it. That was really cute. They also had uh, a mossy pumpkin. So it looks like it's gonna be a mossy witch vibe. And then they had all the other witchy stuff that we had seen before. Um, so I'm not gonna show it again, but I will show it again when we go back and see the whole collection. Like when everything is all done, like all the aisles are done, I will show it again. Also had, I, I think that we already saw the skulls, the black glass skulls. They also had some clear ones this time. They had this faux book thing that had a Grim Reaper coming out of it that I think lights up. They also had a couple different ghosties. They had kind of like a little cute ghosty, like ceramic ghosty that we had seen before. They had a bigger ghost where the eyes light up. That one was kind of cool. They had a pumpkin with a bunch of bats that fly up. Apparently it lights up, but I didn't see a little clicker, like a little uh, tester thing. I had another jack-o'-lantern with different skeletons with their legs or arms or something dangling out of the pumpkin and I'm pretty sure that's all we saw not a whole lot so yeah anyways that was it that's all we saw so now we're cruising out to TJ Maxx and uh we're gonna we're gonna go cruising my shoulder is on fire right now uh, get off my shoulder son sweatshirt anyways we're doing that <laughs> It doesn't matter if I have SPF 5000 on, it it will burn me. Okay, we're done. No, oh, there's still a little bit. Anyway, so we're cruising. We're looking for Halloween. <laughs> uh. Here we go with the heat on the arm. I think we brought this sweatshirt. I brought it to cover Mr. Skeleton when I hide him in the back. It's actually working. It's keeping my arm nice and cool. I'm not on fire. Oh my gosh, that mansion. When did they build that thing? All right, we're on our way. We're almost to TJ Maxx. We don't want this camera to even get close to overheating, so I'm gonna see you there. All right, so we're here at TJ Maxx. It looks busy. We're going in to TJ Maxx. Here we go. All right, there wasn't one ounce of Halloween to be found at the TJ Maxx. They still had 4th of July out. And that's been over. It's it's July 19th, y'all. Anyways, there wasn't one lick of Halloween in there. Not one. So next we're going to stop by Target and see if they have any Halloween in their bullseye playground or their dollar spot, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and that's what we're going to do. I, 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 I'm just slightly confused, I guess, because there wasn't anything. Not even a mug. Not anything there. I was surprised, though, not to see Halloween there. Not because it's july <laughs> but mainly because all of the other home goods in the area seriously every single one i've been to even the one that's not too far from here has so much halloween like entire aisles end caps like i don't know how they didn't get a truck in kind of thing i guess is what i'm saying because not one pumpkin to be found nothing okay so we're going to target we're gonna see if we have any luck here and if not, everywhere is busy. I thought nowhere was going to be busy today because it's so hot, but not a chance. All right, we're going into Target. Let's see what they got. Ooh, we are striking out today, y'all. We are striking out. Nothing at Target. 
So we're now cruising to Tuesday morning. We know Tuesday morning has Halloween. So we're gonna go there and check it out, see if they've gotten anything new in. Then we're gonna cruise over to Dollar Tree, which I, maybe they have Halloween, I'm doubtful because they haven't even put out back to school yet. We are parched. <sighs> Pippi Longstocking over here. <laughs> but there's a Tuesday morning and a Dollar Tree right next to each other. If you remember a couple years ago or last year, every year, really, that we go to this little uh, strip mall thing, they always have a wasp's nest in between these two. Which, by the way, totally forgot to mention the other day, the new wasp's nest over by the elder wasp. There's now a youth wasp. What? 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 Wait, 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 wait. This Tuesday morning's still in business, right? Okay, they're hiring. I was like, wait, don't tell me. It says it's only 90, but it feels like 95 degrees. It feels like 95. Oh, it says it's only going to be 99 today. Oh, thankfully. They lowered it one degree, which doesn't mean anything. And then it's going to be 102 Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then Sunday, it's going to be a cool 101. <laughs> Is it October? Yeah, and here's the thing. I wanted to decorate earlier this year so I can get these decorating videos out because by the time I usually post the decorating videos, a lot of people are already decorated or like some people are looking for ideas. So why is my nose just like all of a sudden running down my face? Is it bleeding or something? It feels, no, it's just watering down my face. Oh my gosh, this lady just bought a whole box full of pool noodles. Anyways, what was I gonna say about, not nasal leakage, but what was, I was gonna say something about something. Oh, I wanted to get decorating videos out early because some people look for ideas. Although, I'll have my Halloween playlist down in the description box for you. If you want to look at some of the, if you're looking for any decorating inspo. If you're not, no big deal too. I know a lot of people have their own taste and style and that kind of thing. So, oh, I kind of wanted to decorate early this year, but every single year I say this. Uh, to me, it seems like decorating when it's hot out it's against my religion or something. I don't know. It's like my whole body repels the idea of decorating when it's hot out. I feel like I'm gargling. Maybe if I can find a rainy day to decorate on, it won't feel so hot. But like, I just love decorating when I can have my windows open. It smells like fall. And lately, every year, it's been so late. Like, it doesn't get cool until October, so it doesn't work. So we're going to see what we can do this year. Anyways, we're jabbing our jaws. We need to go in here. We're going into Tuesday morning and Dollar Tree, y'all. Here we go. All right, here we go. Into Tuesday morning. And then there's a Dollar Tree right next door. Well, we're starting here at Tuesday morning. And this is where the wasps live right in the middle. Guzzle some more water. All right, so change of plans ever so slightly. We're going to Home Goods 2.0 right now. Uh, we're going to go after we do my mom's hair, but she's going to lunch. I want to run to those other home goods while I'm out here. And then it's right by my favorite. Oh my God. No, 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 absolutely not. You guys, I'm not even joking you. A wasp just came up to my window to say hello. And I do not want to say hello. I absolutely, at first I thought it was maybe a bee, so I wasn't as scared, and then I saw the devil himself, and I knew it was a wasp, and it flew up to my window and was like tapping the window. I'm not messing around today, wasps. Oh wait, you know what? I wanted to go to Sonic and try this watermelon sour patch kid slushy. Have you had it? I literally, my mouth is watering while I'm talking about it, so I went slushy. <laughs> Anyone else have the slushy? Because I'm drooling all over myself. <laughs> oh man, anyways, I was saying that the uh, home goods, the fancy home goods that we went to last week that had all the good stuff, we're going there. Until we get there, I wanted to talk about Tuesday morning. Well, first and foremost, we saw nothing Halloween at Dollar Tree. They did start getting out their fall floral, but no Halloween floral. So that's all I saw. Uh, why did I say home goods? Uh, Dollar Tree. Before that, we went to Tuesday morning. They had some Halloween out. It was a really small little section. They had a couple of new pillows that we haven't seen yet. One that said Halloween, and then it had a witch flying on a broom in the center on the O. They had a couple other pillows. I want to say there was a cat, like a black cat pillow, 
and a spooky house pillow. I can't remember what the other one was. Maybe it just said happy Halloween or something like that. Then we saw some witches and pretty dresses, y'all. They're back. I hadn't seen them at Home Goods this year yet. So I thought maybe they were doing away with the witches and the pretty dresses, but Tuesday morning has them. So if you're wanting witches and pretty dresses, they have uh, larger ones that stand up and they have uh, ones that are just th that were sitting down, but a bunch of the different witches and pretty dresses. They had some outdoor signage that we had seen last time. They had the big skeleton guy we saw last time. Don't worry, Mr. Skeleton. He's not as handsome as you are, sir. Towel that has a witch flying on a broom. They had a bunch of other towels, different kitchen towels. One was this Hocus Pocus one. They had a couple of different Hocus Pocus things that I thought were really, like I just really liked the illustrations on them. They also had a witchy broom towel that just had different brooms on it. They had uh, a couple other Halloween-y looking towels. Uh, they also had like a little fancy one that had this jack-o'-lantern thing on it. They had oven mitts. They had Winnie the Pooh. They had a cute little jack-o'-lantern polka dot one. They had just a couple different Halloween oven mitts and kitchen towel, different sets. They also had some cookie cutter sets, just different ones. And they had like a larger jack-o'-lantern cookie cutter situation. They also had some really cute spatula sets. They had these little mini Halloween spatula sets that were so cute. One had spiders and spider webs and bats and like all these different ones. Another one had really cute little fangs, like little vampire fangs. Uh, so they had some cute little spatula sets. They also had this little cute little bakeware thing. It was like a little bakeware set, like a mini bakeware set. It had like a little baby rolling pin. The decor area, they had a little, uh, like a crow on top of some books. They had a skeleton sitting on some books. They had, why am I thinking there was like a skull of some sort? I don't know why I'm thinking skull. Maybe I'm thinking of the skeleton. But there were a couple of different, oh no, the skull, it was like a cookie jar is what it was. It placemats, orange placemats, and black placemats, and then a table runner that had jack-o'-lanterns all over it. They had, what else? Oh, uh, they had a little lantern thing, and then you turn it on, and this glitter flies up, and there's a little skeleton inside. We saw those last year, I think. Uh, and then they had a little spooky house situation that lights up with a little moon on top. Uh, what else did they have? I don't know. Anything else I'm missing, I'll show here. And then uh, what else did we see? Oh, we saw some blankets. They had one that had skeletons on it. They had, oh man, I want to say they had a dogs and costumes one, but maybe that's just me getting all excited. They had one that said Hocus Pocus on it. They had different Halloween ones, different like, you know, all the different things, skulls, little ghosts all over it. They had ones with pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns and uh, all the different Halloween-y kind of things on it, uh, witchy ones, all that kind of stuff. They had the stuff we saw last time too, like the pedestals and the black and white pumpkins and all that stuff that we saw last time. Uh, but I'm just showing all the new stuff that I hadn't seen yet. So yeah, it was cute. We had some cute stuff. I didn't buy anything, I'm not gonna lie. So now we're gonna run into this Home Goods, and now I'm just sweating because this wasp situation that just happened at Tuesday morning has me all worked up. Here we are at the fancy Home Goods. It has officially hit the point of no return. It is so freaking hot. I can't deal with it. Uh, my neck is officially sweating off my neck hairs my werewolf hairs is what i call them are dripping uh it's it's uh, it's 93 so it says that's that's a lie just needed some lemonade in my life oh god i thought that was me pulling out in front of somebody but no it was the person who had just pulled out in front of another person it's, it's crazy out there, y'all. It's hot. Everyone's mad. It was one of those days at Home Goods, though, where it was like as soon as you see something and you're looking at it, somebody immediately comes around the corner, 40 miles an hour, plowing towards you. <laughs> it was one of those days at Home Goods. If you know, you know those days where you can't win. It's like there weren't even that many people at the store. It wasn't like super packed it wasn't like a saturday but you would think because i was just every aisle i went into there was somebody plowing down it and they would not like 
And it wasn't even Halloween people. Like, I get it if it's Halloween and we're sharing an aisle. Like, I totally get it. But do you ever turn down an aisle and you see somebody there, but you were just using that aisle to get through anyways? You don't even need to go down there? Um, I'll usually turn around and be like, okay, not this aisle because this person's clearly honed in, looking at something they're interested in. Don't go plowing towards them at 40 miles an hour. I feel like that's a power move, y'all, because I know that the one time I ever would try that, somebody would like stick their foot out and trip me or something. Regardless, we saw some Halloween, went down the regular Halloween aisle. They had some skulls, some uh, black skulls. They had a lot of pastel goth vibes this year at Home Goods. They had some pastel wedding kind of statue stuff. Also had regular ones that were just black and silver. They had a skull stack. They had a small skull stack. And they had this huge skull stack that was in this corner over by all the greenery. It was actually kind of funny. Um, but it was this huge skull stack that I think lit up. And it was really cool. Uh, they had a bunch of gnomes, again, lots of gnomes, plushy things. Had a bunch of different snow globe kind of things. So they had a snow globe that had a jack-o'-lantern in it that I think we'd already seen. They had one with a skeleton. It was like a gold skeleton holding a snow globe. So they had a couple different snow globes. They also had the witchy hand snow globe and a skeleton hand holding a snow globe. I don't know, just all the different Halloween things, all the different skulls, skeletons, all the Halloween stuff. They had jack-o'-lanterns. They had pumpkins. Oh, they had this big black pumpkin that was really pretty. Lots of Halloween things. Then in the ceramic aisle, they had a couple of new things, mainly a lot of the same kind of stuff. A couple of different mug stacks. They had the Disney villains. They had, I think, a Jack Skellington one, if I'm remembering correctly. They had one with skulls. There were black and white mugs with skulls on them. They also had some Disney villain plates. They had the Jack Skellington little plates that we saw there last time. And they had a Nightmare Before Christmas cake stand with Jack Skellington on it. And then around the base, there were a bunch of bones. They had a bunch of Ray Dunn stuff, a bunch of different mugs. They had the ghosty mug. They had one where the legs, the witchy legs are sticking out of the top. I can't remember what else was. They had a bunch of Ray Dunn, just lots of mugs. Uh, they had some cookie jars or like canister looking things that said fangs something about fangs and that kind of thing. Then they had just some um, not Ray Dunn. They had the jack-o'-lantern plates that we see there every year and then they had some canisters, that kind of thing. They had some wine glasses. Okay, they had these really cute wine glasses I hadn't seen before. They were wine glasses with stacked books, like stacked spooky books at the base. And they had a bunch of those blue sky hand painted blue sky pieces they had a couple of different houses and they had this cauldron looking place and what else did they have did they have a ghost or some sort of spooky character i don't know what it was but oh i know what i saw the dutch oven that has the skull on it so we saw the one that had the spider web in the top uh, this one had a skull at the top then they also had some tablecloths they had a really cute spider gothic kind of purple with spiders victorian gothic looking tablecloth they also had a skull tablecloth a spider web like silver and black spider web one uh, and they had some napkin holders that were super cute this year uh, they had some beaded spider ones and they had a gold spider web one uh, those were both really cute then what else did we see oh, we saw more gnomes i already mentioned some of the gnomes but they had some ceramic gnomes that kind of lit up i think i don't know one was a skeleton situation another one i think was just a halloweeny situation then uh we went down to the lamps they had some lamps out they had these orange and black ones we saw the spider web versions last year i grabbed those if you remember seeing those uh, but these ones had spooky houses and like a whole scenery kind of situation and they had some lanterns in this area they had like a little house lantern things like the silver house lanterns we see every year and they also had like a bag like a silver bag looking lantern that had a sugar skull on it and then uh what else did we see oh we saw some blankets uh some we saw an orange and black cat looking blanket a uh, one that we haven't seen in a couple years, which was this vintage Cynthia Raleigh one that has all the little vintage characters all over it. There was the candy corn blanket that was so cute. And I don't know if there was another Halloween blanket there. We saw a couple of new pillows, uh, some bedazzled pillows per usual. We saw a witch flying on a broom and also, was it bats? No, jack-o'-lanterns. 
jack-o'-lantern, bedazzled, beaded uh, pillow. And they also had this one that was like a sweater pillow. It looked like a sweater, like a Christmas sweater almost, or like some sort of sweater. And then it had different skulls. Like It's like a whole little print that has skulls on it. They also had the big haunted mansion pillows back that I had grabbed a couple years ago from there. Uh, they had those. They had, I think there was a pillow with ghosts all over it. So they had some cute stuff. Oh, also in the little kitchen towel area, like kind of by the checkout area, they had the cutest Flemmy the Flamingo Halloween Towel. The ultimate combo. Oh man, it was good. Uh, they also had some oven mitts. Also in the checkout area, they had this like drying mat kind of thing where you dry dishes and stuff. And they had one that was white with black bats all over it. It was a whole Martha Stewart goth situation. So they had, I think that's it. I don't know. I'm starving to death. So I cannot wait to eat my lunch. So I'm calling it a day. Anything I forgot to mention, I'm just going to show here. I'm sure there's a lot because that one has a lot of stuff all the time. Anyways, okay, that's it. Wait, where's my phone? Hey, everyone. It is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. It's another hot day. Here we go. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton supposed to be like 100 degrees today again so anyways we're gonna try to get out before it gets so hot we're trying to get out and see some halloween before it happens because mother nature is really making us work <laughs> she's making us work for this fall y'all she is making us sweat in anticipation i don't i don't i want it to be dark and cold and gloomy like give me all of those days i don't want to see the sun again for another year better news we're going halloween hunting today and um we're gonna hit home goods and michael's first that's i'm hoping I, I did a little bit of stalking online because i was tired of being disappointed at michael's and i saw that the one there is one in my area that has Halloween or it says it has the spooky town so we're gonna go check it out I'm excited to see the spooky town because we haven't seen any signs of the spooky town here so I'm so excited then we're gonna cruise over to home goods see what they have for today then we're gonna cruise over to the other home goods then we're gonna go over to Ross I think and see if they have anything out and then we're gonna go to okay so here's what happened so I was stalking some Halloween online and I was checking up on Joanne, our ghoul Joanne, you know? And, because we haven't been cruising to Joanne's for a while, and it does appear there's some Halloween online and some good stuff. Like, there was one thing that I was really interested in over at Joanne's. So, I saw, okay, first of all, on the website, on the Joanne's website, it says that there's nothing in stock. Like, nothing is in stock in stores. It's online, just not in stores. So I'm like, okay, like nothing in my area. But then I get on the app because I still really want this item and I'm willing to have it shipped even though it has glass, which makes me nervous. I'm a little traumatized from 2021, all of the lack of shipping. Well, I know there was like a shortage of shipping supplies anyway last year, but it was just the lack of uh, padding and any sort of shipping last year traumatized me. So please, longest story longer, I get on the app and I look at this item. Don't worry, I'll show you what it is. I'm all excited about it. And it says there are four in stock in my local area. And I'm like, does that mean they have Halloween out? Or does that mean Halloween is in back? Like it's, uh, it's allowing me to do store pickup for this item is what it's saying. So I ordered it for store pickup. We're gonna see if they email us today while we're out on the hunt, we can go pick it up and then we'll pick it up and I'll show you what it is. If we don't get the email while we're out, we're gonna have to go cruise into Joanne's tomorrow. I was kind of hoping not to go out tomorrow because I have so much footage to edit. I haven't edited any of last week's footage. I'm so behind. Let's look at our email because I'm gonna see if Joanne's. No. But Michael sent me an email that said, hey there, it's been a while. I know, we're right here. We're about to go in. <laughs> Michael, we're here. Love Michaels. First and foremost, it was nice and chilly in there. It felt like fall, y'all. And we saw some Halloween. I'm so excited. Finally at Michaels. Looked like they were still putting stuff out. Their spooky town 
was they had the boxes, so I'll show those, but they didn't have it built yet, so that's coming. They had a little aisle that had some wreath stuff, floral and vase kind of stuff. So they had some wreaths, some branchy wreaths. They also had some wreath hangers. So they had one that was white with black bats, like black glittery bats. They had one with a pumpkin, I think that said Halloween on it. Also had some garland, some spooky garland kind of stuff. They had black roses. They had red roses with black kind of stem looking stuff. And then they had a spider garland and then a bat kind of garland, branchy situation. Uh, then they had a bunch of the wreath filler, like whatever you want to put in wreaths. But they had a bunch of things on sticks, basically, to put in wreaths or wherever you want to put them. Um, but they had uh, some... Looks like they're gonna be doing like a spooky succulent vibe, which I'm into that, I think that's really cool. But they had some Venus flytrap looking things. Then they had some different succulents, but they had some fall colors or darker, dark purples, burgundies, those types of colors within the succulents. Uh, and then different mossy things and drapey things, you know, just spooky. And they had some flowers with eyeballs in them. Then they had, you know, the usual pumpkins. Uh, they had some really cute ghosts on sticks. They had also really cute mummies this year, little mummies on sticks that you can put in your little wreath. Uh, also these little, uh, it was like a little skeleton guy, like a stuffed skeleton guy, but his face looked almost like a Jason mask. Let me know if you see the same thing when I show it. They also had little candy corns, candy corn branchy situations. They had black pumpkins that said boo on them. They had... Oh, spiders, like glittery spiders on sticks. They had a glittery black cat silhouette on a stick. All sorts of spooky things on stick. They had a whole lot to choose from. I will show a bunch here, but they still had room to put a whole lot more. So there were a bunch of empty bins. So I'm excited to see what else they put out in their little wreath or floral kind of section. Uh, then they had a bunch of kind of glassware. They had beakers, so like a science experiment kind of beaker situation. They had all different sizes. Then they had different bottles and glass, just glassware, glass vase type of things. And they had a couple of skulls. They had one mossy skull that was like a vase. And then they had a skull that had flowers, a little vase that had, it was black with gold marbling. And then there was a little skull kind of in there. I also had the, okay, you know the cauldrons we've been seeing up at Home Goods, the three cauldrons on a stand kind of thing? Mm -hmm saw those but in black with a black stand at Michael's so those were cute it's a good amount of stuff to see I think I covered most of it but they had a really good selection already then we went over to the spooky town you know we did and the spooky town was not set up yet but it looks really promising this year so they had this one that had this jack-o-lantern at the top it just screamed Halloween it was so good there was one that had some smaller jack-o-lanterns at the top of the building the one I really liked though had the larger jack-o-lantern they also had like a witch hat looking one um, and then they had one that I think was like an apothecary kind of thing and then they had one that had, it looked like there was like a greenhouse on top of the ha of the building. It wasn't a greenhouse. It didn't have plants in it. And there was like a zombie dance party in there. I loved it. And then on the other side, I think there was a sarcophagus, like a sarcophagus looking uh, building of some sort. And I think there's another one that I'm forgetting on this side. I can't remember which one it was, but there was also this one that had, it was like a lamppost thing with this big moon at the top and it had witches kind of hanging from it. I don't know if they spin from it. I don't know if they're just hanging i don't know what they're doing yet because i didn't see it in action yet but i can't wait to see it because it looks really cool it's like this full moon with these witches around it they also had a couple of other little setting situations that can go with the spooky town they had one that had a skeleton dude there was one that had a witch with a halloween countdown that was really cute I uh, believe there was also a witch flying on a broom uh they had spooky town i'm so excited i can't wait to see it all lit up and in in action and all the things so they did have halloween at michael's and we saw it it's coming and now we're at home goods and we're gonna go in and see what's in there just left home goods and i have some bad news first of, well the good news is we saw halloween i'm gonna go through all that the bad news is i need to get home i need to get coffee and then i need to get home because, don't worry, it's not a celiac issue. 
If you were here a year or two ago when we had a full-blown celiac attack at Home Goods and had to rush home, uh, no, it's not that. I get these random, I don't know if this one has to do with sinuses, I don't know what this is. I get random migraine like once a year, maybe once every other year. It will start just randomly seeing lights. Like it's like I can see, but I have like lights in my vision and I need caffeine. Welcome to Starbucks, what can we get started for you? Have a good one. So it doesn't happen right away and there's light reflecting through this thing. It starts with the light sensitivity and I try to always push through that part and now I know better than to do that because it gets worse. Then the migraine happens. And then when the migraine happens, I can't have any sound, any light, anything at all. Like I can't see. I don't know if it's I just overheat or I'm light sensitive and heat sensitive and my skin is super sensitive. I don't know if I'm just a full on vampire y'all, but uh, this happens to me like once a year. It usually happens though. It doesn't normally happen early like this. Normally happens in the heat of the day when the sun is kind of coming through my window in my car. That's usually when it happens. So I don't know. Anyways, I'm really sorry. We're gonna have to cut this day short. I'm gonna continue. We are gonna go out tomorrow and then we'll go to Joanne's and cause I'm hoping my order will be ready and then we'll go to the other home goods. Anyways, let's talk about what we saw at home goods while we're still able to function as a human. Um, okay, so what we saw at home goods. So they had the whole Halloween aisle that we had seen before. It was like a whole aisle of Halloween, lots of gnomes, lots of some of the stuff we had seen before. They also had this really cool candelabra. So we had seen this candelabra a couple years ago. They had the same one, it's like a really cool gothic candelabra with skulls all over it, but it was purple, bright purple. It was really cool. I'll show whatever else I saw in this area. I don't know that there was like a whole lot of new stuff in this specific area. Lots of the stuff we've been seeing, but it was really stocked. Then we went over to the other little shelf and they had a couple of new things here. Oh, they had those jack-o'-lantern pumpkins on stands with the witchy hat. They had those again this year, but these were black and gold. So the ones I got last year, the ones I saw last year were orange and black and then we saw i think a, like a gray and black one they also had a couple of gnomes of course they had more gnomes they had these were more though these to me are a little more acceptable they are actual gnomes i am all about this gothic garden life so i'm totally fine with a halloween spooky gnome that can actually go in a garden and then they had a couple of really cool uh sugar skull mermaid pieces one was holding a jack-o-lantern and one i think was just lounging or something anything else that i'm missing i'll show here then in the pillow section they had some cute pillows here they had some bat pillows they had one that had spiders all over it was a, kind of like a longer skinny pillow and then they had a skull pillow that was really pretty as well i think we saw this one last year uh and then what else they had a couple other pillows that i'll show here that were really cute oh a skull with flowers it was like a whole floral situation that was really pretty and then they had like a really suggestive looking mr skeleton in uh, a coffin. We went over to the ceramic section. Lots of Ray Dunn today, guys. So if you don't like Ray Dunn, you're gonna be like, oh God, not again. Lots of Ray Dunn mugs. Hocus Pocus, ghoulish, whatever. I didn't show all of them because we've seen basically, I think all the sayings at this point. And the ones with toppers had like little witchy legs coming up. And then they had a gnome topper mug. Uh, and they had another mug that had, it was like another gnome, but just different colors. They had some really cute candy corn mugs that they were from like that Mr. Halloween, ma uh, Mr. Halloween man, Mr. Halloween brand <laughs> that had these little, um, candy corns with little spoons in them and it had a little topper and then had this really cute nightmare before christmas mug that was black and white had a whole scenery wrapped around the mug also had some cute candy dish kind of stuff they had a mummy candy dish and they had i want to say did they have like a little gnome with a jack-o-lantern kind of thing i don't know if that was a candy dish or a canister or something they had a couple of those they had a couple of different jack-o-lantern canister things with the hats that kind of come off and they had a really cute witchy hat canister, or no, that was like a chip and dip bowl. A witchy hat chip and dip bowl that was really cute. And then anything else in this aisle that I'm missing, I'll show you. Oh, they had some uh, wine glasses. They had ones with like little spooky settings and like one that had like spooky settings with a gnome and another one with a, just a different spooky setting on the wine glass. They also had a cute little Ray Dunn scaredy cat canister thing it had a cat it also had some really cool plates today 
plates that had a cauldron and it said trick or treat. It was a whole magical situation on the plate. Super cute. Loved those. They had a bunch of Snoopy kind of stuff today. So um, some glassware with Snoopy. They also had Hocus Pocus glassware with all the witches on it. And I don't know what else I'm thinking of, but all the usual suspects did have some cute bat mugs and they had the bat cake stand again today. They also had this really cool wooden bowl that uh, had some skeleton hands that were holding the wooden bowl. They also had some Halloween blankets. They had the Cynthia Raleigh one we saw the other day with all the vintage looking characters. And then they also had a jack-o'-lantern one today that I hadn't seen yet. I saw it on the group, but I hadn't seen it in the flesh yet. Really cute. They also had a witchy one that was super cute. And I think that's it. I don't remember what else. Or maybe there was a Ouija board one. I don't know what I'm thinking of, but I need to get inside and I need to lay down, drink a bunch of water, drink my coffee at the same time. Hope that the combination helps. Hopefully I can just rest until it goes away. Anyways, we'll go out in the morning. I'm sorry. We had to cut it short today. Here we go, Mr. Skeleton. Everyone, it is another day Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. It's a new day, y'all. Yesterday was kind of a weird day. We went out for 2.5 seconds and came right back home to hope that we didn't get a migraine. Here come the railroad tracks. Here we go. Hold on, Mr. Skeleton. Uh, we went home and luckily I didn't even get the migraine. It just stayed in my eyeballs. So I laid down and turned off all the lights, all the sounds, everything. And, and I just laid there with my coffee and my water and just hoped for the best. And I did not get the migraine, thankfully. I think the right choice was to go home and to not proceed with any anything that required any lights at all okay so now we're back we're wearing the same outfit basically as yesterday because we barely had two seconds to sweat in this we went to like one store we're doing okay today feeling better other than these freaking allergies flemmy the flamingo uh but we're feeling better today so we're on the hunt again today looking for halloween we are on our way to the post office right now per usual to drop off a package and then we are headed to at home is the first place we're going it is friday we haven't checked in with at home was that monday or tuesday i don't remember what day that was but we haven't been there for a while and they were setting up like they were getting things out so we're gonna go check it out and we're gonna cruise out to home goods and michael's the, you know, the ones that are right next to each other that we always go to every week. We didn't, we were supposed to go there yesterday. So we're kind of picking up where we left off yesterday, except we're adding at home because we haven't been there in a while and they were putting stuff out. Then we're going to go to, uh, we're going to cruise out to Joann's. We're cruising to Joann's finally today. And we're going to go pick up our Halloween decoration that's ready for us to pick up. And we're going to see if they have anything else out because I know they have it in back because they have everything ready for store pickup. Then we're gonna go, oh my gosh, today, people, today, anytime. We're at the post office, so I'm gonna run in really, really quickly. We're back from the post office. Gotta put my hand sanitizer on. So anyways, what, what was I saying? We're gonna go cruising to Joann's. Then we're gonna go to, what, what's after Joann's? I think we're gonna try to stop by that Michael's right there. There's a Michael's in or around that area. Not to cheat on Joanne, but, you know, we got to look at Michael, too. Michael Myers, y'all. I wonder if that's what Michael's is named after. If it were up to us, it'd be named after Michael Myers, but... Anyway, also at Joanne's... Okay, this is what had me thinking. So, somebody on the Facebook group the other day, which, by the way, I will link our Facebook group down in the description box for you. I cannot see anything because all these plants, y'all... Are you going? People going two miles an hour? I don't know what's happening. Somebody over on the Facebook group posted, uh, like asked if everyone was excited about the Burt's Bees Halloween or fall collection. So they have like Burt's Bees, pumpkin spice. It is good every year, I get excited too. Uh, but it, they have like a whole fall collection. So for me, I don't know why my mind went this direction, but I was also thinking about Joann's. And last year at Joann's, we found some fall poo at Joann's, the pumpkin spice poo -pourri. 
So now I'm all excited. I'm like, okay, I'm excited about the chapstick, but is anybody else out there excited about the fall scented poopery collection? <laughs> Let me know down in the comments. If you don't know what poopery is, I don't know if it's available in all countries or if it's just an American thing that we're weird and everything, including our poop, has to smell like pumpkin spice. <laughs> but it's like a spray that you spray in your toilet before, you know, and then it smells like, you know, it doesn't smell as bad. Okay. I feel like it's always the same. Ever since I was younger and people were like, oh, you spray stuff and then nobody notices, which is not true. It just smells like whatever it's supposed to smell like pumpkin spice with like a poop undertone is what it is. Or my mom always liked the orange spray. If you know the orange spray, then you know. It's like this, um, it's just like a really strong smelling orange spray that you spray in your bathroom when you go, you know, number two. And then it's like, you just, and some people might be like, that's a little much. Why can't you just embrace it? We're all humans grow up, right? Well, this was like, we all worked in an office together at my mom's. Like she had an office in her home and there were a lot of us people. So to me, it's just like an element of like respect. You don't want to stink up the whole office. You know what I mean? You don't want like everybody just because you're human doesn't mean that everybody else has to smell your situation. You know what I mean? So anyways, you spray the orange spray and it never smelled like just orange and my brother and I would always laugh because we'd be like it's orange poop like that's what the smell of the spray is when it's it's not it's it smells like orange but by the time you get it sprayed it doesn't do it I mean it does enough to cover it up it's better than smelling the full thing but it smells like orange with like a hint of poop so it's like orange poop spray is what we always called it and we think that's hilarious because we're clearly mature about it this is pre poopery this is like before the technologies started getting into the the before you go spray and then, um yeah this isn't an ad for poopery by the way um <laughs> spoiler alert <laughs> i would what? No, God, you're not looking at me. I wasn't doing anything. I don't know if anyone else gets excited, but here we are. They have other like warm chai latte, <laughs> like other scents, but I gotta go with the pumpkin spice. So we're gonna see if they have it at Joanne's. Lord, I haven't seen it online. So my guess is it's not out yet. All right, here we go. We are here at, at home. We're going in y'all. Here we are at at home. I feel like I'm forgetting something. All right, Mr. Skeleton. Did we bring our other battery today? Because we're going to need it. Um, okay, we just left at home, Mr. Skeleton. And a few of your family members were in there. Saw more Halloween. They did put more out. Still not the full collections of stuff, which I can't even really be mad about because there was still a good amount of stuff in there. Um, they put out more in the witchy line. So the witchy line had a bunch of potion bottles that were new. We saw one last time, but they had a bunch of different ones this time. Toad venom and all that kind of stuff. Snake, dragon, whatever. All the different things. One of them was a green bottle with a witch hat on top. I think the other one was an orange bottle. They had a couple darker bottles of stuff that said different things on it. And then they had some ornaments, some like the whole color scheme in this area is the witchy kind of color scheme, green, purple, and black. Had a pillow that had this kind of ghoulish garden kind of situation going on with it. And then they had a, speaking of Venus flytrap situations. They had like a yard stake. It looked like it was like a metal stake, uh, Venus flytrap kind of thing. And they had, what else did they have? Another pillow that was like a Sanderson apothecary kind of pillow. So you know how we always talk about the witches and the pretty dresses? They had a hag witch in an ugly dress that I was so excited about. She's kind of got this scary face and it's green and perfect. And she's got this jack-o'-lantern she's holding. It's kind of got a vintage feel to it. I want to say they had a couple more things. Oh, they had an owl uh, on a stack of books, kind of tea light holder thing. If there's anything else new that I saw here, I'll show it. They had some dishware. 
they had this bug dishware, these little dishes with bugs, like different bugs on every dish. There was a bowl. That was a black bowl, and on the inside, there was a spider inside of the bowl. In the next area, they had a bunch of skulls. It was like all skull everything. They had an anatomically correct skull with all the different labels on it. They had a skull with a bat. It was like a large skull with this bat over its head. And they had this huge skull and his eyes lit up. It was like Mr. Skeleton would have been so jealous. Uh, they also had this skull. Okay, you know that they had some ceramic trees. I'll show those first. So that the ceramic trees we see kind of every year. It was a different variation. It was a black ceramic tree with the little bulbs. You know, they're kind of the vintage vibe. Uh, with the bulbs and then there was a jack-o'-lantern at the top they also had the little mini trees with the multicolor bulbs and then one that was just I think black and orange bulbs again but smaller um, so we saw those and we see usually see those every year but this one in the skull line was a whole skull tree with these little bulbs and then there's a bat on top i believe it was a bat then they had a stacked skull pedestal a candle pedestal and the halloween heroes line had all the cutesy kind of stuff so that's more like classic cutesy halloween they have a lot of ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns and black cats and um little cartoony kind of situations in there so they had a little jack-o'-lantern candlestick holder that was really cute they had a little bat statue thing they had a bunch of gnomes in here as well some stuffed gnomes they had smaller ones and then they had a bigger one i think that had legs that was standing up a couple of the bottle brush trees that were candy corn that's another kind of color scheme in this halloween heroes line is the candy corn then they of course had all the tabletop decor we had already seen so i didn't take visuals of all of that since we'd already seen it they had a whole little aisle of different yard signs and yard stakes and that kind of thing so they had a couple of new signs like said happy halloween one said every day or no it's always halloween or something like that um, we saw that one last year, I think, but they had a couple happy Halloween ones and then they had some yard stakes and one that was like a Halloween hoedown yard stake that had this skeleton, Mr. Skeleton in this bandana or something, I think. Maybe. And then they had a little trailer one. My favorite one was this big spooky house. It was like a metal yard stake thing. And it was a big haunted mansion looking spooky house thing. I loved that one. So anyways, I think that's all we saw. Oh no, no, no. On the end caps, we saw a bunch of these uh, skulls, more skulls, but they were the glass skulls with the little uh, cork things in them. Uh, and they had ones that lit up. Those ones were a little bit larger. They were, they had a green one, a purple one, and I want to say an orange one. And then they had the smaller skulls. They had, uh, we've already seen the red ones, uh, but they had different iridescent ones. So they had uh, green, orange, purple, I think they had clear. They had a couple of different iridescent looking uh, skulls as well. So they're just slowly putting stuff out. My guess is they're aiming for an August fully stocked store. So we'll just keep checking at home. So now we're headed to TJ Maxx Home Goods Hybrid and we're gonna run into that Michaels even though we were just there a couple days ago and there was nothing but we're gonna check all the Michaels today. We gotta stop at the vet on the way home because I gotta get Neen's little heart medication and I gotta get um, her food, her special food. Neen's has just been absolutely devastated about Halloween season. She just is not wanting to share me with anybody. <laughs> All right, we're here at, we got front row parking at TJ Maxx and Michael's. We're right here, so we're going in. All right, we're here at Michael's and TJ Maxx Home Goods Hybrid. I think we're gonna go into Home Goods first, see what they got. That's where we're going first. It's freaking hot. <laughs> Sweating. It's freaking hot. Can I just get a large Baja Blast, please? Just left Home Goods and Michaels, and let me just say, Home Goods had the goods. Forgot we have to let Joanne know that we're on our way. Whoa. Now that we got blasted, oh my gosh, I can't even tell you how much this drink cools me down and just refreshes me. Like, I have cold water that is refreshing that I've been drinking all day, but there's something about the blast. 
just left Home Goods and Michaels, and let me just say, Home Goods had the goods. We saw a bunch of Halloween. We saw a bunch of radon. There was like this whole little center of the aisle situation all set up. There was non-radon stuff in this area too. They had a couple things I really love that stood out to me right away. They had this spoon rest that had this jack-o'-lantern on it. It said trick-or-treat on it and it was black and gray. Like the color scheme was right up my alley for all year round. They also had a little butter tray thing that had the jack-o'-lantern on it same kind of vibe and they had what was the other thing they had oh a canister too so they also had a bunch of radon stuff they had this really cute like potion no it was like a stack of books a, a lime green stack of books with the witch hat on top it said potions and spells or something and then they had a bunch of coffee mugs and thermal things and you know different wine glasses and or you know stemless wine thermal things they had like this little like it was like a little trio tray thing that had little pictures of spooky things like hand painted on the inside and on the outside i think it said trick or treat they had a couple of different canisters they had a couple of ray dunn canisters one said jack-o-lantern on it with a jack-o-lantern it's a little cute little kitchen stuff in this area and like glassware dishware or ceramic pieces Lots of that kind of stuff. Lots of Ray Dunn mugs. They had the thermal things everywhere. They had one that said Hocus Pocus, one that said Poison. Those were actually kind of cute. The Poison Lime Green one was really cute. They also had these Ray Dunn little, they're kind of for your Trulies or you know, like the tall drink koozie kind of thing but it was like a thermal thing so it keeps it cold but they had one that had ghosts that said boo and then one that said drink up witches or witchy something about witches they also had a couple of new dish towels that were cute they had one that had a pumpkin that said boo they had a little uh day of the dead kind of like sugar skull hat towel there was another towel that was really cute that i'm not thinking of oh it was the joanna parker towel that they had was really cute we saw those last year but i wanted to get another glimpse of them this year because i think they're really cute kind of have that vintage vibe they also had some really cute pillows that were in this like center area and i don't think anyone was paying attention to them because they were underneath but they were really cute and if you liked those spooky season pillows they were kind of that uh they kind of had a vintage feel to them this one was like a, kind of a similar vibe it was like orange yellow white black but it kind of had a kind of like a vintage vibe to it and it said hocus pocus on it and then they had one that had floral kind of stuff and then little skeletons all over it but it was the same color scheme as the spooky season pillow so i don't know if they all go as like a set or like you know they're all kind of created you know by the same people or whatever but it wasn't embroidered or anything like the other one. Oh, they had the jack skellington plates back and uh, i know a lot of people were looking for those last year uh, i don't i haven't seen anyone asking about them this year but they do have them back if you're looking for them anything new that i got i'll show you here um but it was a lot of the same kind of thing so i'm, I'm not showing too many repeats other than like the radon mugs which i don't know if there's like i can't remember every single saying that we've seen but they had a lot of them today in the halloween section so the jack-o'-lantern pedestal we saw yesterday in the black and gold they had it back in the orange and grayish black that we the ones that i got last year they had that color scheme back they had some little wooden ghost things but i did see something new that i was all excited about so you know those dancing frogs or the you know the witchy frogs that we saw a couple weeks ago or maybe it was i don't remember when we saw it, but there were the witchy frogs if you know you know they had a frog on top of a jack-o'-lantern and the jack-o'-lantern lights up and the frog's sitting on top and it's green and it's 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 seriously and i think the toad is holding a crystal ball or something it is so cute that was super cute whatever i'm missing i'll show here we didn't see any new blankets or bathroom stuff nothing like that uh, but we did see a couple of new towels and a lot of new dishware kind of stuff today or mainly just like drinkware. Anyways, it was wild out there. There were a lot of Halloween shoppers out there today. They're out there doing it. It says 99 degrees on my thing. And it's been weird because normally it hasn't been getting this hot this early. It's not until like, I don't know, like four o'clock, three or four o'clock that it gets up to the hundreds and it's 99 degrees it says on there. It's a hot one today, y'all. All right, we're here at Joanne's, y'all. We're coming for you, Joanne. We're checking in on you, gal. We're here at Joanne. Going in. 
Oh, it is freaking hot. Hotter than balls, Mr. Skeleton. Uh. The good news is we don't even care that we're sweating. Our back is sweating. Our neck is sweating. Even our hair is sweating. We are sweating. Even Mr. Skeleton's bones are sweating. <coughs> Gotta rehydrate. <laughs> oh, it's so fresh. It like instantly cools me down. Anyways, hopefully the AC isn't too loud and you can hear me jabbing my jaws because we saw Halloween at Joann's and it was good. I will say really quickly though, is that um, I didn't even get to Michael's. We, we were jabbing our jaws about home goods. All right, so Michael's, that's what we were talking about, Michael's. So, so saw a lot of the same kind of stuff at Michael's that we saw yesterday or whenever we were out at Michael's. Yep, yeah, that was yesterday, hot hole. There was a lot of the same kind of stuff. There were a couple more stick things, like wreath decor things that we didn't see yesterday. They had a hand, like a scary monster hand that was bedazzled, or no, it wasn't bedazzled, it was just sparkly. And then they had a bone thing, like some bones on a stick. And uh, that's what they had for wreath decor that we didn't see yesterday. They also had uh, some floral that I'm all excited about. They had some Halloween floral. They had black roses. They had some mossy situations and something reddish burgundy in there, I want to say. But the black roses were beautiful. They were beautiful. Oh, and then they had this thing. I don't even know what kind of flower it is but it had a snake in it. I don't remember what this, this flower is called. I'm really bad at naming any sort of plant. I'm an air sign, not an earth sign. I'm sure my Virgo mom probably knows exactly what this flower is as she's watching this. Okay, mom, tell me what it is. Call me and tell me. But I have no idea what the flower is. I've seen it before. I know what it is, but I don't know what it's called. And then it has a little snake coming out of it. That was really cute. And um, yeah. That's what we saw at Michael's. Oh, and they had, oh wait, no, 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 I'm lying. There was like a whole area. It's like, I don't even know what Halloween is around here. So they had a whole little ceramic, like paint it yourself crafty kind of ceramic area they have every year. They had all sorts of cute stuff this year. They had a really cute bat. They had jack-o'-lanterns. They had, uh, I wanna say a spooky house. They had some little cute things that have light up eyes this year. Uh, they were like ceramic pieces, but the eyes light up. They had a cat, a jack-o'-lantern, I wanna say a ghost, and maybe a witch, or I don't know what the other thing was, but, but they were super cute. They also had the wooden ones. So they had the big wooden signs you can paint that are really cute. They said, Happy Halloween. I don't know, they said different things. And then one definitely said Hocus Pocus on it, but they had the different wooden signs. Then they had the little wooden tabletop decor pieces that were on all the little different things, all the like little, they had different characters. So that's all we saw new at Michael's. So then we went cruising to Joann's and Joann's did not disappoint or Joann. I don't think there's an S. But to me, there's an S. Let me know in the comments, are you team Joanne or team Joann's with the S? Because to me, we're going to Joann's. Like when you say like your friend, like your friend's name is Joann. But when you say you're going to Joann's, you're going to Joann's. That's where I get the S. So I get it like if we're talking about Joann, checking in on Joann. But if it's, we're going, we're cruising to Joann's. It's the S. Lord, I don't know why I'm being so freaking particular about grammar when I'm just not at all, clearly. I'm all upset about this. The injustices in the world about whether or not Joanne has an S. Clearly a priority right now. I hope no one thinks that that's serious. <laughs> anyway, so we, we cruised to Joann's and we saw Halloween there way more than I was expecting. I actually, like, I wasn't expecting to see any Halloween there. They had a, first of all, when I walked in, the first thing I saw was a huge skull. I was all excited. I was like, oh my gosh, it's out. They put it out already. They had all of the Halloween boxes. And if you've been around here, then you know I'm obsessed with the Halloween boxes. A couple of the boxes, the darker stuff, I'm going to start with that because I was obsessed with every single piece. They had the bat ones. The bat ones. I was so excited. 
excited. They had these like, it was kind of this like really eerie feel to it with all these bats flying around. They had the bigger box and the smaller box. And on the inside, there's a spider web design. I don't know if I got that on camera, but I saw it later when I opened up the box, there's a spider web design in there. They had a larger box that had a skull and on top it had a skull and crossbones and all this at home, man, it was good. And then they had another box that said something like, um, what did it say? Something about beware. And then they had just a regular spider web box that was a little bit smaller. And then they had some round boxes and the round boxes had all sorts of spooky things. One of them had a moon with bats and it said something on there. They had several different sayings like beware or enter if you dare. Or, anyways, it was so good. Then they had Halloween-y ones, very Halloween looking ones. They had one with jack-o'-lanterns all over it. They had ones with little skeletons all over it and then they had spooky houses on top and they had the faux books and this kind of line too so it was lots of skeletons jack-o'-lanterns kind of spooky houses orange black and white and some yellow in there maybe but they had a lot like the halloweeny type of ones that were also really cute and had little halloween designs oh my gosh I'm obsessed with all of it. So I'll just continue. One of them was like a faux book and it said Halloween on the side and it had a witch flying on a broom. Oh my gosh, the whole thing, it was so good. So they also had some outdoor signs. They had a couple of dark looking outdoor signs that were so perfect, kind of spooky, witchy, dark aesthetic. They were beautiful. One said spooky, had a skull on it. Then they had another sign that also had a dark aesthetic vibe to it, kind of a witchy vibe. I can't even remember what it said. But it was it had snakes and spiders and it was oh, so my vibe i loved it then they had some they had one that was like a, a black cat with a witch hat on it i don't know if it said welcome or happy halloween something like that they had some other halloween signs outdoor signs that said different things and they were all halloweeny and orange and black and cute and then they had a tombstone thing they had the stacked pumpkin topiary situation back with the wicker pumpkins and the lights like it lights up that was back. They had another stacked pumpkin situation. They had a spider. I don't really know what the spider does, but it was kind of a cool looking spider. They had a big pumpkin head, and then they had really cool stacked skulls. Probably some of the better stacked skulls I've seen. So then I saw some outdoor rugs. One said welcome with a bat. It was really cool. Another one said trick or treat, I think it said on it. They had an aisle that had more like jack-o'-lantern kind of stuff. It had a jack-o'-lantern wall decor piece and then a wall decor piece that said boo and I think had spider webs and there was also a wall decor piece that was this really cute ghosty situation they had a kind of like a door frame spider web thing that was cute they had a couple tabletop decor pieces one said boo one said something else maybe about a haunted home or I don't know what it said it said something and then they had this really cool bat mirror and that's what I saw online that I had to snag because I had a little coupon. Um, I normally don't pay full price for anything at Joann's because they go on sale so quickly. Like, so if you think the prices are high at Joann's because they are, but they are priced to be on sale, I believe. That's at least what I think because they go on sale almost immediately. Like they don't wait till September, October to go on sale. They are on sale right away. What else did they have in this area? I think they had some pillows that said trick and treat. Like it was just like one side says trick, the other side says treat. And then they had a couple other pillows. One said current mood and has a jack-o'-lantern on it. And then another one had little skeletons all over it. There was also a skeleton rug that was really cute. It was a lot of classic Halloween stuff. Oh, they had a wall decor piece that had a jack-o'-lantern on it that was super cute. They also had some other pieces that were metal. They Like one was a spooky house and the other one I think said boo or was something like that. There's also a whole little skeleton area which they had a flamingo skeleton, a Flemmy the Flamingo. And then they had a... Uh, uh, couple of different other skeletons, human skeletons, oil slick and just regular. They had tiny ones, larger ones, all the different things. I think they had some skulls in here too. Uh, and little, I think there was like a little dog skeleton. They also had a witchy section that was so cute. It had a stemless wine glass that said something like hexy witch on it. it also had this really cool moon this is gonna sell so quickly it's like a moon candle holder pedestal kind of situation and um it was so cool it was so cool and then they have a moon mirror again this year 
They had uh, the eye mirror and a couple other pieces. There wasn't a whole lot in this section yet. They were still putting it out. They also had a moon plate that looked like it was plastic, but it looked like amethyst. They also had this like folding tarot card, tabletop decor looking situation. They had, I don't know what else was in this area, but I'll continue to show it. It was beautiful. They also had some plateware in this area, like the, the paper plates and napkins, like party wear. They had a couple of different napkins with different sayings. They had one that was kind of a fortune teller kind of looking napkin. And then they had a couple of different plates as well. Had a crystal ball looking one. They had one that said something about uh, fortune, like your fortune or whatever. It was like a larger plate. And But they all kind of had this purpley color, like amethyst kind of feel to it. Then they had a whole like kind of party wear section where they had different napkins, different paper plates, different themes, which I think usually the kitchen towels match these themes every year. So when they get their kitchen towels in, I feel like they're gonna look a lot like these. So they had one theme that had like some ghosty kind of stuff, like ghost napkins. And then I think it also had spider web stuff. And then the plates kind of go with everything. They had a skeleton theme where the, the skeleton plates and the skeleton napkins and i believe they also had like a jack-o-lantern one where it was jack-o-lantern plates and jack-o-lantern napkins and then they had like a black cat one with a black cat i think it's wearing a hat or maybe the jack-o-lantern was wearing a witch hat somebody was wearing a witch hat and then the matching napkins so they had a lot of cute different plateware i'll just show all the different plateware here because you can kind of mix and match if you want to or if you want them to match a theme then they had some tablecloths and um what do you call it? Like curtains and uh, what do you call those things? Mantle scarves, those things where they had a bunch of really cute ones. Anything else I'm missing that we saw at Joann's? I feel like I am missing something big time, but I'm also about to pee my pants. <laughs> and I'm just so excited to see more of Joann's and I can't wait. Hey everyone, it is another day. Halloween decor hunting with me and good old Mr. Skeleton. Oh God camera almost flew off anyways it's another day halloween decor hunting with me and good old mr skeleton and we're cruising right now to the post office per usual we're making our rounds dropping off some ho7s packages and um then we're gonna cruise over to at home really quickly to see if they put anything new out i did a little stalking on the website it's really confusing on the website this year like i click store like store availability or store pickup available and then half the things say in stock and then half the things say shipping available i don't even know what that like does that mean it's in store and available for shipping or it's not in the store because i'm not going to waste my time if it's not in the store it's just a whole mess whatever they did with their website this year i'm i'm not feeling it it's monday and normally on mondays I'm either editing or trying to film filming a different video that's not halloween decor hunting uh, but today i had to go out because it is 76 degrees it's like four o'clock so it's a little humid i'm not gonna lie it's actually very humid it's been raining all day but it's not raining anymore and it's 76 so i'm like we need to get out we need to go see something because i'm feeling the fall vibes and after last week i need this moment i need to just a reminder that's not always going to be super hot and feel like literal hell so we're going out we're just going to a couple places today because i still got to run to the grocery store so we're going to go to at home see if they have anything new uh, and then we're gonna go up to Kohl's and see if they got any of their Halloween out. And we did just check at home, but they're kind of in that timeline where they're putting stuff out all the time. You never know. And I really want to see their dishware. And I know what their dishware, like their party dishware, like chip and dip bowls and you know, candy bowls and all that kind of stuff. All their ceramic ware sells out super quickly every single year. They don't get a lot of pieces in, so I want to get what I want to get so I want to see it up close and personal um, so I'm hoping they have some stuff but the website really confused me I also wanted to check out big lots today but I looked online and literally every other big lots in my area has stuff not in my area like far away but like in the vicinity kind of um, but the one in my specific area has nothing out and I'm like what the heck like, what is going on anyways it is so nice out i'm so excited miserable marie will not be making or moaning myrtle whatever we're calling her will not be making an appearance today because it is so 
freaking nice out. And some of you out there might be like, great, thanks girl. You're really rubbing it in. Good for you. Well, I highly encourage you on a day where it's nice where you're at and it, the weather is horrible where I'm at, please feel free to be like, it feels so nice out where I'm at. It's, it was so nice today. Please, I want you to enjoy those days. Shout it from the rooftops because it is, it's been brutal out there and miserable at home and it is dead mr skeleton no offense so we're going in we're here at at home we're here at at home i shouldn't have worn my hat this is a bad choice just left at home they're literally putting out i'm not even joking you they're putting out one single item at a time. Oh, sorry, dude. One single item at a time. I don't know if it's to laugh at us Halloween decor hunters. I like to think it's not that serious, but also it's literally like one single item every time I go there has come out. And it's almost like one of those things where you have to challenge yourself to like be like, was this here before or wasn't this here before? Although my brain is really weird in that way and won't let it go. Won't let go when it's already seen. So they did have a couple of things. They had some blankets, some spooky blankets this year. I don't remember ever seeing spooky blankets at, at home before, but they had them this year and they were $10, which is competitive with Target and Walmart. Usually theirs are around $10, like $9.98 or something around there. So it's a steal of a deal. They also had uh, some new skull pieces. They had a skull, what was it? Like a vanity mirror looking thing. They had a pumpkin skull hybrid, like, or jack-o'-lantern skull hybrid kind of situation. I don't even know how to describe it, but I'll just show it. And then they had a skull uh, kind of snow globe, but with glitter, water globe, I think is what they're trying to call it now. And then they had a, um, what else? There was something else next to it, like another skull piece next to the water globe. What was it? It was like a oh, skull pumpkin hybrid like another hybrid oh man Kohl's is hopping although it is back to school anyways i think that's all we saw at at home there was nothing else so now we're cruising to Kohl's, and we're gonna see if they have any halloween out okay, we're going in to are we wearing our hat no we're not wearing our hat forget the hat we're going into Kohl's. oh my gosh it feels so nice right now i can't believe it Let me just say it feels so nice okay not to rub it in or anything but <laughs> i'm just kidding it feels so freaking good it feels like september i am like i'm secretly like i don't know if it's better to have this type of day or it's worse to have this type of day even though i know mother nature heard miserable marie's cries and gave us this day <laughs> But still, I, I feel like this is going to be a bad, like, you know, careful what you wish for kind of thing. Because what's going to happen is it's going to get scorching hot again because it's only July. It's definitely going to get hot again, which I think it's next week. I feel like it's going to be one of those things where it just feels so much worse. Anyways, this weather brought us Halloween at Kohl's. They had uh, some bathroom towels that were really cute. They had a jack-o'-lantern one. They had a little baby Yoda even in a jack-o'-lantern. And then they had a cat one that was really cute. It was purple with a black cat and it said keeping it spooky or something like that on it. It was really cute. Then they had a little landscape thing that had a branchy tree and jack-o'-lanterns and I think a cat and then a moon. It was like a whole really cute spooky situation of a towel. And then they had a... Uh, like some skeletons embroidered on a towel. Another, they had a candy corn one that said trick or treat, I think, on it. Um, so they had a couple of different Halloween ones. I want to say another jack o' lantern one, but I think I already got that one. Then they had a couple of Halloween rugs, bathroom rugs. The jack o' lantern one this year is so cute. Jack o' lantern bathroom mat that has little starburst and it's just so cute. I keep saying everything is so cute, but it really is. And then they had a skeleton bathroom mat. So both of those ones were good this year. Uh, then I went over to the kitchen section because I figured there'd be some kitchen Halloweenage. Sure enough, there were a couple towels and a couple of you know, every year there. We see the wine costumes. 
still blows me away every time I see it. The need for a wine costume. I still don't know if it's my favorite thing ever or the, the worst thing ever. Like I can't decide how I feel about the wine costumes, like wine bottle costumes. Still unsure about it. But anyways, they had a, was it a mummy? What was the first one? I was just focused on the witch one. So there was another one that wasn't a witch one, but then they had a witch one. And the witch one had these little witch boots and a witch hat and everything for your wine bottle. If your wine bottle is undecided on what they want to be this year for Halloween, they have a good witch costume over <laughs> at Kohl's. All right, anyways, you don't have to roast it every year. Okay, anyways, they also had a couple of towels and it gets even weirder, as if it could get weirder. It does, somehow. Okay, so they had this, okay, let me see if I can explain this. It is a, why is it at Kohl's? Every time I'm explaining something, it's the weirdest thing ever. I don't know who, like, who they're talking to, where they get their ideas, but I kind of like it, because it's kind of on the same level of weird that I am, and I, and I, <laughs> I appreciate the weirdness. So they had this towel, this kitchen towel that had dogs in costumes, not unusual, we see a lot of that. Dogs in costumes in a conga line. Or it's, I mean, it could be a conga line, it could be one of those grinding trains that, you know, in the early 2000s, if you ever got stuck in one, where everyone would just stand in a line and grind against each other. I don't know who thought of this idea, but it was a thing. <laughs> and you didn't know who was gonna be in front of you and who was gonna be behind you, and it was just weird. Lord, okay, anyways, they had these dogs in costumes grinding on each other. No, not really, they were in a conga line. Then they had this really cute Hocus Pocus towel with binks on it, I think is who was on the towel. And uh, they also had some really cute ghosty placemats, like a pumpkin, and there was a ghosty on the placemats. And then they had a, what else was it? Um. Oh, a table runner kind of thing. Couldn't get a good look at the table runner, so I just got to look at the picture on the tag. And then they had a, um, was it another placemat? No, it was a, um, like, oven mitts. The mitt, the oven mitt was a cat. And then they had, uh, they had more Halloween. But we got to drop these off in the post office. I came earlier, but it was really busy. I wanted, I'm going to drop off these packages. We're cruising to Aldi. I got to get groceries, so I'm going to talk to you on the way because we're not done yet. We saw... Halloween, more Halloween at Kohl's. They had actual decorations aside from just kitchen and bathroom stuff. So I saw some pillows. Oh, it's raining again. That gets me excited. They had some Halloween pillows. They had a happy Halloween pillow that was really cute. It was a black pillow with multicolored uh, text. And then there was also some like ghosts and jack-o'-lanterns in the lettering. Super cute. They also had one with jack-o'-lanterns. It was like kind of like a beigey color with jack-o'-lanterns. Kind of had more of a country feel or like farmhouse feel. And then they had a Jack Skellington pillow with Jack Skellington's face on it. They had one that said, hey boo. What's with all the pillows this year that say, hey boo? I don't know that any other year we've seen a pillow that says, hey boo. And this year, I feel like that's all we're seeing is, hey boo. Um, and then there was also, was there a skeleton pillow? I think there was a skeleton pillow and then I feel like I'm missing another pillow if I am I'll show it here oh yeah it was like the cat with the pumpkin I think with the witch hat on or something and they had this really cute it was like a crystal ball kind of thing and then it had ghosties around it and then it had a base that was really cool the base kind of looked a little bit Victorian and when you turn it on it's purple and glittery and they had that and then they had these little succulent things that you couldn't really see because they were in this plastic packaging and the reflection was all weird but I tried to get it anyway it had a mug it was a skeleton mug and then I think it said bad to the bone on the lip of the mug and I want to say there was something else in this little area that I'm not thinking of then they also had this kind of like neon sign looking thing that said boo and it has a bat on it and it lights up all like neon looking and I feel like there's something else that I'm not thinking of so anyways saw some good things at Kohl's I was excited about it so anyways that's pretty much that that's what we saw so we had a successful Halloween decor hunting trip I will see you next week anyways thank you so much for Halloween decor hunting with me hope you enjoyed this video if you did you can give it a thumbs up say hey ghoul hey down in the comments because you know I love talking to you also don't forget if you want to try Brio Gio, you can get 15% off 
if you click my link in the description box and also use my code, which I'll have right here and also in the description box for you and get 15% off your clean hair care. So definitely check it out. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. Bye. I feel so weird not looking at you. <laughs>